I'm Blair Gilbert here for MrHardware.com and Gilbert's Pro Hardware in St. Clair Shores, Michigan. Here to do a quick explanation of how you can put in your own PVC pilings to protect your vessel against the steel seawall. Six inch PVC currently being about $100 for a 10 foot stick. We've installed 15 feet for about $150. 20 bucks more for a cap. We were able to put some pilings in that will never rot, that are removable. We're in Michigan, so this freezes, that the water might crush these and break them. It has it. I'll show you some that I did years ago that are beautiful. So in order to jet a piling or piece of PVC into the lake bottom, you need a pump. You don't need an expensive pump. Just a plain old one-third horsepower sump pump. Flexible hose. I have another pump down here. See as I'm using stuff I have on hand. The one pump's using a standard sump pump hose. The other pump is just using a flat roll-up fire hose. Then I made an adapter to connect the hose to the PVC. So I'd adapt from the hose to thread. I'd increase it up to the size of my PVC, which for this project is six inch PVC. I find out it works much better than four inch PVC when it comes for fending a boat off of a steel seawall. We typically don't tie the boat to the seawall. We tie the boat to cleats that we mount on the outside of the seawall so as not to stub our toes. So one pump, is going to feed the PVC pipe attach my sip pump. The other pump is supplying a 10 foot steel pipe that's a little longer than the PVC that I'm driving in the ground. Then the PVC that we're going to put into the ground we took a saw and we just rough cut some teeth in the PVC. We saw a tooth at the end of the pipe so it could cut into the lake bottom just using a circular saw putting random teeth in the pipe. Don't have to be good. And as you can see, I'm going to be able to take and rotate this down in the bottom while I have water coming down the center and that's going to help me drill or jet this PVC down the earth to give me some rigidity to my pilings. I'm going to attach my five foot extension onto the hub end of the PVC I just jetted in. So to start the project off, I take the steel pipe, I make a hole into the lake bottom using a simple sump pump, add a ton of water, I flattened out the pipe, I can take it down. I know the center of where I want the PVC to be because I want the PVC to end up being approximately two inches from the seawall when I'm done. You'll find two inches is a nice distance. The PVC to spring as wave action and stuff hits the piling. So here I am, here's my location. I'm hitting the lake bottom. Now look, this pipe, if I take my time, without any effort at all, is drilling me a pilot hole for my piling. need a rope. Took about 10 minutes. Not even. So using this pipe, the sump pump, I'm making myself a decent hole 
down in Lake Bottom right here. Using the pipe and one pump, I've just jetted a decent pilot hole into the lake bottom. Not even. I'm going to take my pipe with the saw teeth on it. I'll find my hole. And attach my second pump. Using just one screw attach the pipe to my coupling. It's just standard drill and tap screw. That's going to keep it from coming apart. I don't care if it leaks. And now I go to the other pump. Well, I have water flowing into the piling. And by little rotation and the water flow going in here, And those saw teeth, we're going to jet this right down into the lake bottom. Gave me a pilot hole. We're letting this just slowly muck up the mud underneath the piling. The teeth are helping drill the mud, and I'm going down. I put a bungee around the piling just as a holder for me. Then the expedite matters. This is why I have two pumps. This could be done with one pump. It should be a lot easier with two. So now I plug in the first pump in the steel pipe. There we go. I can go alongside the PVC. and make a little bit of room for the piling to go down. It's a lot easier than a two-man job, so. Okay, now we're starting to get a little action here. Okay, there you have it. Now I got the pipe just about five feet, five and a half feet down into the lake bottom. I'm going to stop, I'm going to attach my five foot extension onto the hub end of the PVC I just jetted in. Okay, I got my five foot extension. I'm putting it into the bell or hub end of the pipe we started with. And what I'd like to do is drive it deep into that bell or that hub. So I'm not going to use glue. Okay. Okay, that should have that in deep enough. I'm going to pull it up a little bit. So I can get a screw in it. Pipes have been bonded. I want to get just a little bit. 
bit deeper. Well, they're like an inch below the water line, and I'm, well, yeah, I guess I'm an inch below the water line, aren't I? Okay. The earth is going to settle around this piling and stiffen it all up. It might take about 10 days or so, but it'll go from being this loose to I'll show you some that I did years ago that are beautiful. So there it is. So I've leveled it up. I've got a spacer block here. So when this peers in, my pilings will all be two inches from the seawall, which is a good distance. And now to hold it, simply employ a bungee like that. Two weeks, I'll be able to let this little whaler bounce off these pilings. It will no longer be damaged. It won't rot or wear out. This here piling, I put in probably about 12 years ago. I do here in Michigan, so this freezes that the water might crush these and break them. It hasn't. I'm not gonna lie. I've had a few of these tilt out. I've had to take my jet pipe and jet along one side and pull them one way or another to get them true again. So one time in 12 years, I've had to adjust them. Six inch PVC currently being about $100 for a 10 foot stick. We've installed 15 feet for about $150. 20 bucks more for a cap. We were able to put some pilings in that will never rot, that are removable, that are protecting my boats and my friends' boats from visiting, from scratching against the steel seawall. Protect your boat and your property. Quick tip from MrHardware.com.